Ta-da! Hi guys, just sitting here in Forrester Gump and today we're going to do a vlog day. I haven't done a vlog day in, I don't think I've done a vlog day yet this year. For all you new folk and you want to see my last vlog day, there's a link stuck to my moonroof. Is it a moonroof or a sunroof? What's the difference between a moonroof and a sunroof? I really don't know. I think it's a sunroof. I think moonroofs don't open. Anyway, there's a link up there to the last vlog day I did. But today is an exciting day because I just got teeter tot registered. Finally, I finally got license plates for this car because he's somewhat safe now to drive on the road. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my lunch real quick and we'll head back to the garage and uh, knock out some work on possibly both project cars and something special I'm gonna do in my garage. I don't know, it's a vlog day. It's just gonna be fun and do stuff. for the MR2. I'm so excited. It was a partial sponsorship slash I also paid. So it's half sponsor, half paid. Either way, I got wheels on the way for the MR2. Hopefully I'll have them in the next two or three weeks. I gotta get tires first though. I have a lot of things I have to do right now. I'm gonna bring the car back in the garage. I don't know why I moved it out. It was kind of pointless just to do this one shot. This, I don't think I can pick that thing up. It's really heavy. I think I'm gonna have to get some help. Garage, all right, I'll, I'll get right over there. Right, copy that. <laughs> All right, bye. Mission half complete. Good to go. I had one of my friends in the Air Force stop by after work and he uh, he put that up on the wall for me, or he held it up. I put the bolts in, in the wall. Anyway, you guys don't care. We're gonna work on the car. And um, I got a box full of goodies. The <laughs> So this stuff is all hard to find items for the MR2 that I was missing. Use box lid. Heck yeah, dude. There you go. Uh, another cover. It goes just like that, I believe. OEM Toyota MR2 fog light switch. Which will go right here or here. I actually don't know which side the fog light switch is supposed to go. I should look that up. Do, do, do. Diagnostic port cover, which I was missing. Much better. Now I got a lid for my fuse box so water doesn't drip down on it when I wash the car. I think that's also the cruise control. I think both of these work in conjunction with each other for the cruise control. Either way, they both got covers now and my diagnostic port has a cover so no more water can get in there. Da -da -da, a T-top cover with the knob. I have the T-top cover for the driver's side. It's missing the knob but I ordered that from Prime so actually should be in the mail right now. Actually I should have it so I'll be able to put that on but this one has the knob already. So now I have both T-top shades. Now it's shaded. Just like that. Now it looks like it has a headliner and I just gotta get the knob out of the mail and uh, put the other one in. I absolutely hate this camera angle. How do you walk together? I don't know why, I just hate it. Shapes, but I'm gonna do it because I'm doing a vlog day and I'm trying different things. Ta-da! This cover, go on here. Good to go. T-top covers are installed. It may not seem like a big deal, but for me having this car like the same way it would have been if I would have bought this brand new in 1991 is important to me. I like having the car complete, OE, clean, just how it would have been brand new from a factory. And then I'll do some modifications on this car, obviously. I mean, it has a JDM Gen 2 3S GTE in it when it was originally SW21 with the 5SFE, 5SFE, am I forgetting a letter? Whatever, it's the next day. I just kind of stopped recording yesterday. I got busy putting together a cabinet and then I went and had chickens with Sarah. The, the small Sarah, not myself. I'm not talking in third person. Check it out though. 
I got cabinets now to put all my car detailing stuff in there. I did that last night. I didn't record any of it because I, I'm not gonna make a video about assembling a cabinet. That's, this isn't. I don't know any home improvement channels. <laughs> it's not one of them though. Anyway, I got my cabinet on the wall. I'm excited, there's car detailing products in it, yay. All right, first things first. The engine lid under panel needs to go back on, but it looks like crap, so I need to make this look new again. Oh geez. I don't have any paint. It's kinda ironic that I'm uploading this video on Valentine's Day, and it's a vlog day video, and you're seeing how exciting my life is of constantly working on cars in my garage and going to the store and then back in my garage to work on cars. It's a glimpse into my life. Yay. <laughs> Roll bar and chassis paint. Good to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. It's high-ish, high-ish heat. I uh, figured this would be perfect to use on this panel since yeah, I guess it's chassis-ish. I saw it and I thought, oh, that might work. So I'm gonna give it a shot. camera. I should have sanded more where the stickers that the old sticker glue in a couple areas. I didn't sand those well enough but I should find out what OEM stickers are supposed to go there and order them and put them on those areas and there won't be sticker glue spots. Ah that's a smart thing to do. Why does this not feel right? I originally said that I was going to be powder coating the wheels that I get for this car no matter what they were a color that I had chosen for the car. However, the wheels I ordered, I'm kind of excited about the finish that they come in. So I'm probably just gonna rock that color for a little while and see how it looks. And then eventually I might change it up and powder coat them the other color that I was talking about. Oh my God, they're all inside the fingers. <laughs> Why? Why did I use a glove instead of a Ziploc bag? What is wrong with me? Oh cool, it still has a little rubber thingy on there. That bolt's gotta come off. I wonder why I can never get any progress done. I just spent the past 20 minutes while you're brushing the hardware that goes on the engine lid. It had red paint on it. What? I don't want to put bolts on there with red overspray. That's just tacky. Ugh. I think this panel came off a rear clip from a JDM MR2 because these two labels are completely in kanji. So. I'd like to get the rest of the decals that are missing. I don't know what they say. It's probably like a vacuum root. Maybe like a sticker for the oil. Benskis. Well, I, I have a slight problem. The cable that goes from inside the car to the engine lid release is broken on my car. So the little plastic tabs at the end are just corroded and brittle and fell apart. So if I shut the engine lid, I can't reopen it again. I also added some weather stripping along this back edge and I ran some weather stripping right here along these side edges. That way it'll help prevent water from running down alongside the edge of this when you wash the car and stuff. So in that last live stream brought up the issue of painting the brake calipers in the car and what color I should go with and I just decided to keep it simple and I got a black kit. So I'm gonna do the calipers on here black. Now what I am not sure whether I should go and do is this thing has the SW21 non-turbo brakes on it. I believe the only thing that was different and this is 93 and up is the front 
rotor diameter and the pistons uh, go from one pot to two pot on the front calipers, if I remember that correctly. So uh, the 9192 Turbo MR2s, I believe, had the same brakes regardless if it was non-turbo or turbo. But um, before I paint these, what do you guys think I should do? Do you think I should get a set of 93 and up turbo front calipers and rotors? Or you think it's really that big of a difference? Let me know in the comment section below before I paint these brake calipers. And uh, hopefully I can do this soon before I get the wheels on there. I'd like to try to do it before I get the wheels on there. If not, it doesn't matter. Thank you guys for sticking with me though through this video. I just, I've been trying to take it easy after the whole flock incident of getting that stuff in my lungs. I haven't been trying to push myself too hard these past couple days, but. For those of you that were wondering about my camera, I ordered a new circuit card that has the audio outputs on it. At the last video, I dropped my camera and messed up the audio on it. So I'm gonna replace that card, or at least try to, and get a few more months out of this camera before I likely upgrade to maybe the Canon EOS R, since I have a bunch of Canon lenses and batteries and stuff already, I'm gonna stick with Canon. And a Canon's been good, I've liked my Canon camera this whole time, so. I have a car view planned for next week. I have something exciting this weekend, a collab with somebody that is gonna be exciting and fun, and I can't wait. And I have some more sponsored parts for the MR2 and the TT that I'm gonna be installing that are gonna make a huge difference, especially on the MR2. I'm super excited. And it's not the wheels, it's something else. So anyway, thanks for watching you guys and um, have a happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm trying not to sound salty by saying that <laughs> because I'm gonna be spending mine in my garage like a winner, yay. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys soon with another video, bye.